Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to create a netlist from uh, AUKAD or DE Capture CIS uh, and then transfer this into uh, PCB Editor. So the important thing really is once you've got your design finished um, is you select the DSN file in the project window uh, and then run Tools Create Netlist. And obviously we support lots of different outputs to different other, other formats, but uh, the main one is obviously for PCB Editor. It uses the combined property string, which is the PCB footprint. Um, we want to create a PCB netlist. Now, if we click on the setup button, this gives us the ability to, to edit the configuration file if we want to. Um, the Allegro CFG file gives us the properties that get transferred between kind of uh, the front end and the back end. Um, so this is where you would actually go in and maybe set part number equals yes if you wanted to transfer the part number into the Allegro format. You can also look things like uh, increase the size of the the uh, the, the netlist, netlist files that you use, and we can also suppress some warnings if we do if you want to. <coughs> um, it generates an Allegro folder by default. This is where it stores the three netlist files that are created. Um, now you can obviously have this enabled, which what it will do is it will create the netlist at the front end and then feed it automatically into the back end, and it's going to specify an output file. I'm just going to use straight into the same name as the as the job directory, um, and I can also look at things like how I whether I place change components when I'm doing ECO, and whether I want to open an Allegro based design or an AllCAD based design, depending on what sort of license level I have. I'm going to leave it as AllCAD, and so we'll just click OK. Um, it says it's just going to save the design, and then we go ahead and create the netlist. It then feeds us into PCB into AUKAD PCB. <coughs> we'll pick the license for AUKAD, and that's job done successfully. Um, obviously, we don't get all the components or the netlist placed. They go into this kind of unplaced mode, so we can go and place manually, and then you get a list of all the components that we need to need to go and place. 